hearing hearing you talk like this. Um, how is it? You know, you say that it's up to humanity. Uh, okay, but how? I mean, how can that happen? We cannot come to a consensus in one country, not just the United States. There's not a single country on this planet that is in a state of consensus. How does a whole planet never come been to faced with this sort of thing before? So how does how does the planet come to a consensus? They listen to It is not the time for ultimatums. It is the time for concern. Okay, but what do they what is it they need to listen to? No more war. No more suggestions, secret projects, attempts to to build a monstrosity that can even consider depopulating the earth. But most of all, not placing all power for the whole world in the hands of those that have created all the problems. That's a pretty big task for even one country to take care of. How, how can the planet take care of that problem? Without secrecy. It's very easily done when you don't have counter agendas running. Well, um, I think that's a great goal for us to head for and head for rapidly. However, we've put politicians in every country. We've put politicians in charge, and the very first rule of a politician is uh, or the very first requirement to be a politician seems to be that you have to be able to say anything and everything with a straight face except the truth. And and you know the, these folks all over the world are in power uh, that cannot look humanity even in their own country in the eye and just tell the truth. So would you, on your opinion, consign humanity to annihilation? Well, I would not. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out... You're not willing to look at alternatives? Well, I am. I don't know how you could get the whole world to put people in charge that tell the truth. Disclosure is one thing. Change is another. I grant you that. So what are you saying? We need disclosure or we need change? Or we need both right now? Very soon. Which is it? Do we need disclosure or change or both? Events have recently happened which are precursor to implementing uh, inhuman and monstrous designs. A number of people already know this, both on the inside of it and on the outside. So how, how do we stop it? Waiting for, for the, the populace of the world to see what it is that is really manifesting this evil. So that when they risk themselves they'll have the full support of everyone that would be victimized. So, um, I, guess, I guess what I'm saying is what, what concrete actions can an individual take that leads toward throwing off... Um, the liars and oppressors. 
to actually examine everything objectively with an expectation of your own rights being respected and adhered to and with the law being imposed upon all equally for the social contracts that the people have with their governments to be upheld and that corruption be ended and punished. These are all things you already know. Well, it's one thing to know these and to desire this. The question is, what can you do? That's for you to decide upon and to commit yourself to. It's not like it hasn't happened before. All right, let's say... Your own histories. I'm sorry? It's not like it hasn't happened before in your own histories. All right, well, let's, um, let's say it doesn't happen. Let's say that um, people follow the path that they have traditionally followed, which is get all upset with the politicians and then next election re-elect them. And um, so they put the same, same people back in charge. That's been going on since the country was born. And it was going on, uh, you know, it's, it's been going on in other parts of the world for centuries. So uh, let's say that uh, things continue as they are. What can, what could we, what kind of demonstration could we see from these? If that were merely the case, Mr. Smith, if that were merely the case, they are not satisfied. The social engineers that are projecting what they're projecting upon this world are not satisfied with that. Well, I'm not saying that what... The new world order. I'm not saying that what they do continues to be the same. I'm saying what the people do which is put these politicians back in office. Those options much longer because these people that are projecting this upon the rest of the world are not content with that status quo. And they've made that quite clear. Okay. I understand what you're saying, but let's go back and understand what I'm saying. I'm saying if the people of this planet do what they've been doing for centuries, which is put the same people back in office. I do know that those people uh, apparently have plans uh, to take this thing further, but they can't do it if we don't put them in office. However, let's say that the people of this planet do what they've been doing for centuries, and they put these same people back in office. Then what, what can we expect from these EMVs? I've uh, expressed this before, that the threshold will be crossed when these people start a program of global depopulation. Do you think that that is something they will begin in the near future? Yes. Why do you think that? Because I happen to know that. And there are many people other than me, that know that. They even know the timeline. And what they know, I know. I know when we, um, we say it's um, global depopulation, um, uh, by what means? How, how will they go about doing this? Surely you must have some indication of that. Well, I do, but it's a talk show. And on a talk show, we explain things so the audience can know what we know. Pick a country. Pick a country. Okay. Um, Italy. Italy has a corrupt government. The Catholic Church intends itself to be the global religion under the New World Order. 
Italy will become a, a 